Well, here's the one that everybody's been waiting for. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Yes, I'm Batman. Telegram. I'm Batman. You sound like Cookie Monster. I'm Batman. That's Batman. I'm Batman. Darling, I don't have to answer to you. I'm Batman. Yes, that's right. Today we're doing Batman. Okay, so Batman, or Bruce Wayne, was originally published in May of 1939, created by artist Bob Kane and writer Bill Finger. First appearing in Detective Comics issue 27, and for 20 years, had a very successful run in comics up until 1964, when sales on the Batman titles fell drastically. Bob Kane then noted that, as a result, DC was planning to kill off the Batman altogether. <laughs> you know, considering the fact that they're shoehorning him into the next Superman movie, I have to kind of laugh at that. But anyways, in response to this, editor Julius Schwartz was assigned to the Batman titles. He presided over drastic changes beginning with Detective Comics issue 327, May of 1964, which was cover billed as the New Look. Swartz introduced changes and designs to Batman to make him more contemporary and to return him to a more detective-oriented stories. He brought in artist Carmine Infernio, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, to help overhaul the character. The Batmobile was redesigned and Batman's costume was modified to incorporate a yellow eclipse behind the Bat insignia. The space aliens, along with other characters from the 1950s, such as Batwoman, Ace, and Batmite, were all retired. Batman's butler, Alfred, was also killed off, though his death was quickly reversed. While a new female relative of the Wayne family, Aunt Harlot, came to live with Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson for a time. The debut of the Batman television series in 1966 had a profound influence on the characters, most notable Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, and Mr. Freeze, and would be one of the biggest hits for Batman, even though there was a movie serial several decades before in the 1940s, but hardly anyone remembers that, so we're not going to spend much time on that. The next big event in Batman's world would come in the form of a movie titled Batman in 1989, directed by Tim Burton and was overall a big success. Bruce Wayne would not be the only DC character to wear the Batman costume, however. Dick Grayson wore it twice, once when Bruce had his back broken by Bane in the comic series titled Nightfall, and again in 2009, Batman and Robin comics. Well, Bruce was believed to be dead, but he was actually traveling through time, and it, it gets complicated. Also, his son, Damian Wayne, was shown wearing the costume many years in the future. And speaking of him, unfortunately, a few years after that, Bruce Wayne would witness the death of his son, Damian, which brings up to date, and yes, before you ask, there was a Batman for Earth 2. The Earth 2 Batman origins were based off of the Batman or Batman comics from 1939 to 1955, with a few new details added, such as Bruce was raised by his father's brother, Philip Wayne, instead of Alfred, the Wayne Manor's butler. Earth 2's Bruce Wayne also accepted his one-time adversary, Catwoman, and even marries her. And they have a daughter, Helena Wayne, the Huntress. Yes, that is where that character comes from. By the early 60s, Wayne had retired as Batman, with Robin taking over crime fighting in Gotham City, even accepting Wayne's position in the reformed Justice Society. Wayne is later called out of retirement by the ancient god Mercury. Yeah, just go with it. To help defeat King Cull along with several other superheroes of the pre-crisis Earth-2 and Earth-1, along with Earth-S, several years after he again dons the costume to wear the bat signal when Robin is away from Gotham City. But this adventure ends in tragedy as Batman's kick causes a criminal to fire his gun wildly, striking and killing Selina Wayne, Bruce Wayne's wife. Bruce then burned his cape and cowl that night, swearing to never be Batman again and would later take over James Gordon's position as police commissioner, and then was kind of mind-controlled by the Psycho Pirate, which made him make the JSA all outlaws, and then he would eventually die, uh, which we're not really going to get too far into, and which would leave Robin of Earth 2 permanently taking over the Batman title. So, yeah... I guess that kind of concludes Batman. 
Next week, Robin. See you guys later.